Hello, hello everybody, my name is Waddles and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide and 1.14 Let's Play series. Uh, so, you join me over here in the end today. I am gathering up uh, blocks, uh, this kind of blocks, <laughs> for our big, big project. Uh, I need to be very clear about this. The goal for today is, is straightforward. We have one goal. The goal, finish everything, like as in E-V-E-R-E-T-I-N, uh, to do with the library, the grand library. Yeah, that's the only goal. By the end of the episode, the outside will be terraformed. The inside will be built. And uh, we'll have some bookshelves in, in there too, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I have to check the sugar cane, but it, it'll be all done. Um, now, uh, I need end stone for what I'm doing. Um, I, I need a, a particular block that is crafted with this stuff, so I'll continue hollowing out this area until I have like enough, hopefully. I did go ahead and, and make that a little safer. Um, still really scary to look at, but yeah, it, it's block collection time here. But you know, I, I do have one word of advice here, and that is if you are harvesting end stone in the end, do it like I'm doing. Go in a room, make it too high so endermen don't spawn, and just dig. Make sure you keep lighting up the room and, and don't hit the wrong key. Um, my inventory keeps popping up because I'm clumsy. Ah, back here in the overworld, nice and safe now, and time to talk about the project. So, here's the Grand Library. We started this, I think, maybe episode 30 or 31, something like that. Uh, we took a break from it, um, and today we finish it. Now, I, I actually planned out some stuff here, so let me explain what's going on. Um, the dirt symbolizes pillars. I'd like to do end stone brick pillars going up and then maybe some arches in here um then this dirt over here um represents bookcases so um it's a library we need, we need lots of bookshelves i don't know how high they'll go up maybe two three four uh probably not five then over here this dirt is um, the grand staircase to go up the grand library to the second floor then um, finally, we have the top area, which we'll probably do with slabs or, or maybe some glass, but probably mostly slabs and an attic, maybe? I, I don't know. Um, trying to figure this all out. Uh, this is, you know, more bookcases, but if I did beams in here, like coming up there, that would get really, really small. So I'm not sure about the beams up here on this, um, on, on the second story there. That might just be a bad idea. Uh, so, end stone bricks are these, um, four, uh, just kind of like stone bricks, but end stone, and then these will go straight up, but I need some filler blocks, I will never, never, never leave the spaces behind here empty, the whole build needs to be filled in, partially out of, um, OCD, and then partially out of, I don't want mobs in there, but I, I think that could look really, really nice, now, this isn't a joke, guys, and I promise, but <laughs> I need a mossy variant of end stone brick. I, I need it, like mossy stone bricks, but end stone bricks, right? Who's with me? Uh, I hope everybody, uh, I think that would look really cool, like the green with, with these. Um, I'm considering doing vines in here um, to make my own, but that would be kind of tricky, right? To stop the vines from growing, we'd have to do like string, and uh, then it's like floating blocks everywhere, and I... I don't know if I like the idea of, of that. That's not my my, my dream library. Uh, now, we also need these uh, arches, right? Uh, I think we can do it with slabs, maybe. Um, I think something like that could be cool. This is where we can get a really good arch, though. We could definitely do, like, staircases in there and slabs and everything. Uh, maybe something like that. I don't know how I'm feeling about the arches over here, though. That is maybe a little much, so... That might have to come out, um, these ones here. Let's just go ahead and pull those out. We could do something to, oh, this pick is fast, very fast. Um, we'll, we'll do something different over there, and or, or maybe even just leave this stuff open. I, I don't know. We'll get bookcases in here, and the whole wall thing will get broken up anyways. We won't be able to see it all, so uh, we'll, we'll just go without the arches here. But the arch in the middle, I think that looks perfect. So, I'd like to talk about life now a, a little bit, and, well... Not life, but YouTubers. So, uh, B00, um, really cool guy, uh, longtime Minecrafter. Maybe you guys watch him, maybe you don't, uh, but he's back, hopefully, maybe. Uh, he, he went through some stuff, and uh, I definitely, you know, feel for him. That's uh, not good, but but he's back, and, and I wanted to give a mention because B00 is somebody that I used to watch when I was younger, like, a lot, and, and I loved what he did, and 
big inspiration. So if you like what I do, and you don't know who he is, B-double-O, I'll, I'll link him down below in the description. He's he, he's really cool. Um, and, and he does a really nice uh, building series. He said it's one of the longest on YouTube, like ever. And, you know, I believe it. I, I watched him when I was probably, oh gosh, it, it had to have been like, like middle school maybe and i'm not in middle school anymore <laughs> i'm not in high school anymore either um so it's been a long 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 time and yeah i, I just love what he does big big props to him and if you don't know him you should definitely check him out he's kind of like etho kind of not though um but uh yeah uh be double o i've been being very good with the cow farm by the way um we have lots of cows being bred up uh for this stuff leather um so we can make lots of bookcases. Um, we should be able to make ooh, um, a few stacks. I, I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do something that hurts, like a lot, uh, but, but we have to. So uh, spruce wood, goodbye. And uh, abundance of leather, um, where's the book? Oh, we need paper. Um, abundance of leather uh, also, um, goodbye, ow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that hurts, but you got to do what you got to do for the build. So we need bookcases. Where are they? I can never navigate these menus. It's it's just too much. Oh, wow. A stack only turns to 21. That hurts. That's uh, lots of pain. Um, no, I, I'm definitely certain about this corner. I, I know I want the bookcases in here. So I, I think we could go maybe three and we could do like another beam. I, I don't know, though. Um, maybe we just go... We'll just go four. And then here we went one, two, three, four, five. I know I did it like that. Um, okay, so that's cool. But uh, we can keep going up, I think. Um, so maybe that. Uh, always harvest bookcases with silk touch, by the way. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Let's it, get in there. Um, we definitely need more, though. Needs needs more. Hmm. <laughs> so how do we want to do this? Um you know, because what I could do is I could dig some of these out and say, like, you know, a, a chest for enchantment storage, because that's the point of this building. Enchantment storage and, um, like, the valuable items and, and, and things. So maybe we just do, like, an uneven mixture of bookcases in there, and then we could come back in with, like, oak slabs to finish those off a little bit, maybe? I I don't know. Um, it's That's difficult. I, I know I wanted room in the middle so I could stand here and kind of look around, but... I also wanted room for, like, tables and, and decorations in here, like lecterns and things. Oh, lecterns, lecterns. We could set lecterns on these things. Um, that would look good, too. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's good. So maybe let's talk about a staircase of the second story. This is where I am undecided. I don't know if we do it with oak stairs. I, I'm thinking oak stairs, but do we do it with oak or do we do it with spruce? Um I definitely want the staircase to be three wide. That's decided. And then I definitely like the idea of uh, the staircase going up here and then um, turning, like going uh, left or right. So that will also be a thing. This will have to go three back to keep everything three wide, and then we'll go up here. So this will get dug out, and we, I guess, won't do any bookcases back here because we can't. Um, but do we do it with oak, or do we... I, I think oak. I... I think that's the way we'll do it. We'll just leave the whole, um, like, uh, spruce wood stuff out. That'll stay on the bottom. But do we want this moved forward one? Because this would be the middle, right here. This is the middle of the building. Um, hmm. If we didn't, we'd have to dig this out like this. Um, is that a problem, really? Uh, not really. No. We can walk through here. We can get some gates in here and walk through. Uh, we'll leave the staircase where it's at. I think that's fine, and that'll look good. Um, yeah, uh, but the one thing that I was not prepared for is... Uh, well, I'm never prepared for it, is uh, the bookcases. They're very expensive, so the goal is to finish, and, and that's not changing. We need to finish the whole build. So we might have to do a little bit of stronghold rating. I don't like the sound of it, but... But we might have to. It might be the only way to get as many bookcases as we need. So I have some thinking to do, I think. Okay, look. I, I'm not proud of it. I don't, I don't like this feeling, but uh, they have to. 
I have to. I, there's no way. There's no way. I, I can't do it without the book. Oh, I didn't want that. Uh, I, I can't do it without these bookcases. I have to. I, uh, <laughs> I'm sad. I want a picture of the room or something um, before I go and, and destroy it all. Uh, let's go up here and get a picture of the, the beautiful stronghold. We can restore it later. That's what we'll do. Uh, I'll make a, a promise to you guys here on camera. Uh, hold me to it. Stronghold will be restored to its former glory, which is this. But for now, I need to take these. I, I will bring them back. I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't like it either. Don't worry. Um, I, don't, I don't like this feeling. <laughs> Well, uh, if you want to know how many bookcases are in a library, it is this many um, bookcases. Right there. All right, so I'm back here, and the bookcases are coming in. I think they look pretty good like this. I decided to just do a solid wall. I think that's fine, and then we'll do, like, chests and lecterns kind of randomly sitting on top. Over there, that's good. Over there, that's good. Over here is going to be something different that will all make sense soon. Uh, so, up here. Uh, now, the ceiling, I think, will be this variation pattern. Stone, smooth stone, andesite. Just randomized all over this thing. Now, it will be on the lower half, um, slabs, so we don't have to worry about spawns on the majority of it, which is a good thing. That's something that a lot of you guys mentioned, and it was honestly something that I was planning on doing the whole time. So, I think it's time for me to really just jump into the project. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Um, well, not with spruce, maybe with oak? Maybe, I uh, maybe, we, we need a railing on here, and so I was thinking, yeah, something like that going up, and then, like, a support beam in the corner, and then maybe, like, fences in between to make it look cool. I, I would do end stone, but I, I think I want the staircase to look a little more wooden, so I think this is what we'll do, something like that, and then, uh, do we put another one there? I don't think so. I, I think we skip that. We just do the beams there. That should be good. And then ladders to make it look like like storage under there. That would be cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know how this happened, but you're going to have to go away, man. Uh, how? How did that happen? Nine, ten. This, this is all safe. Um, he must have spawned at nighttime and wandered up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, not who I expected to see when I opened the door. Uh-uh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Aha. I like it. I like it. That's the way. Uh-huh. That's, that's going to be the way. I just need to farm dark oak wood. All right, well, guys, don't be too mad. Uh, it has been an hour, and I've been making some progress. You can see it through the windows a little bit. Um, but I, uh, it's safe to say that I am very, very happy with how this build is coming out. So let's take a look. Uh, this is what I have. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So we have the attic in. Um, let's go up to the attic first, I think. Um, there's not much up here right now, and I, I honestly might leave it empty for now. Um, really not much going on. I do need to... To come back in and put some fences in here, though. Probably spruce fences. Um, but the view from up here is so cool. So down on floor two, we have bookcases just kind of there. I think these ones will be decorational. Um, maybe we'll put some chests, like, behind the bookcases or even in front. Um, just to kind of store stuff. But I left this area open for uh, the storage. So any more storage that we need to do, uh, we'll go in here. Like, I'll build something. Um, I think... I think, big thing. And then down here on floor one, we have this going on. So the bookcases everywhere and uh, more bookcases. Then I went with the second row here and this one will stay really low, I think. And then over here, I moved this stuff forward. I'm planning on displaying things over here. So like item frames um, or item frames sitting on here and then signs as to what each thing is. I think that could be a cool way to do it. Um, then some chests in here to store books and everything like that. But I I'd still do need to jump up here and figure out what I'm doing with this wall. I, I think it's going to stay empty for now, and eventually I'd like to put some dragon heads on there. That could be cool. Maybe some banners, like some um, illager banners uh, up there. That could look cool too. Um, but yeah, I do need to jump up there and do that still. Uh, but I'd like to talk about uh, this thing called uh, 
curtains. We need more decoration still on these walls. They're too plain. So I think we could come in um, with this. So three banners on either side of the window, and that will be some sort of curtain, like as if we could close it. I guess we won't do it on this wall because it won't fit. Uh, but I think the red showing through, like from the middle, would look really, really nice. And I mean, I have lots of wool anyways. Uh, yeah, something like that. I think that makes the whole build look a whole lot more finished. Now, I'll only do this on the low floor. I don't really think I need to do it up there. That um, would just be a little overkill. But yeah, banners in there and then the floor. So I definitely want to come in here with a rug uh, of some sort, like a big rug uh, running down the middle. And then eventually we'll do lighting underneath the rug, I think. Uh, but right now, I, I unfortunately can't do that. Uh, usually, when I do lighting and builds, um, I hide it under like carpets and things like that. And um, to do that, you need pumpkins or glowstone. But I never use glowstone for things like this because that's a waste of glowstone. So we need to make a pumpkin farm and get lighting in underneath the carpets, which is just unfortunately one thing that we, we won't be able to do today. So um, sorry, uh, but we just won't. Uh, now... The shape, I, I think we could do big ovals. I think that would look kind of cool. And um, then we can come back in with like cyan carpet or something and um, like get a design in here. That might look a little better. But yeah, imagine pumpkins being underneath this whole thing. Uh, that would provide more than enough lighting for this whole area and brighten this all up. And then we could stand here and, and talk, do intros, outros, comment of the day. Uh, so I think that's a cool idea. Then over here, we'll do the same thing pretty much, but I think the rug will go the opposite way. But, 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 big but, um, I'd like to do some display tables in here. So I don't know, we could do like a three by three one there, then another three by three table there. That could look cool. Uh, so I'll get those in as well. Um, entry mat rug too, probably, uh, something like that. But yeah, I think overall, I'm really, really happy with how this build is coming out. Uh, I wouldn't really change a single thing about it. So I think it's about time to just wrap everything up and then talk about the outside of the build, which will be really quick. Well, 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 would you take a look at who's wandering through my property? That's a pretty big patrol, though, so I think I'll have to stand over here <laughs> and take them out. Um, just just don't see me, um, but it looks like we'll get our second banner. I like that. Um, oh, and, and by the way, the bad omen effect that I had at the start of the episode, that's from last episode, and... I, I guess it just goes away after a while. I, I thought it would be on me indefinitely, but I guess not, um, which is fine by me. I'm, I'm cool with that, but I have a new one now. <laughs> so um, I guess back to the same spot. And here is a library that is just about done. I have some lecterns in, some, some chests. I definitely need more chests, but I think overall this thing looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and do this and then move to the outside of the build and just power through all of this. Uh, dragon egg on display there. That's my table for now. It's not much, but but it's cool. Um, I like the idea of the dragon egg on display. That's, that's kind of nice, but the outside. So um, we have a few things that need to happen to the outside. Uh, first, we need a brand new road that matches this road down there. Next up, this whole area needs to be terraformed to look uh, something like that. And maybe we add a giant tree or, or two. And then finally, maybe just a few. And when I say a few, I mean, seriously, a few more decorations on the outside of the library. And so I think that is the perfect library build. The path is in now. Everything looks good. Uh, lots of uh, terraforming going on, plant life everywhere. And this whole path is now updated to look like our new path. I, I'm really happy with how this area is turning out. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just really happy. Finally, the comment of the day. Episode 36. The comment is from True Dark Greninja. I, I typoed there. I'll have to fix that. 
Uh, but the comment was, correct me if I'm wrong, but did you just call that wandering trader a mushroom? Um, I have been told to uh, not answer that one, so... Um, yep, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, my name is Waddles, that is the Grand Library, and you should go have a good day now. Bye-bye. Uh,